salita ni Jesus would like to thank the following sponsors. Horno Fire Handmade Food Pizza. Experience the foreign pizza that located in our town. And in part by Rexlu Care Herbal Products by Rexlu Enterprises. Tunay na maaasahan, napakabisa, walang halong kemikal. Pure na herbal talaga. Pinagpalang buhay po mga katuwang. Ako po si Brother Ryan America. Ang preacher na cyber evangelizer dito sa Kapahayagan TV channel. At higit sa lahat, disciple preacher ng El Shaddai DWXI PPFI Tapat Pa Chapters and very soon accredited Amor Solo Preacher ng El Shaddai Ministry Welcome po sa ating taunang pagninilay bagamat ito po ay serye ito po ay makabuluhan na pagnilayan ang mga salitang binigkas ng Panginoong Yesus habang siya'y nakabayubay sa krus. Mga ilang sandali bago siya nalagutan ng hininga na nakabitid sa krus. Yan ang mga salita na binibigkas ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Pitong huling salita ni Yesus. salita ng ating Panginoong Yesus ay hahanguin po natin sa Luke chapter 23 verse 33 and 34 Nang dumating sila sa dakong tinatawag na bungo ipinako nila sa krus si Yesus ipinako rin ang dalawang salarin isa sa gawing kanan at isa sa gawing kaliwa sinabi ni Yesus Ama Patawarin mo sila sapagkat hindi nila nalalaman ang kanilang ginagawa. Mga kapatid, ang tawag po sa unang salita ng Panginoong Isus ay pagpapatawad, forgiveness. Alam niyo po bang mahalaga ang pagpapatawad na iyon? Ito po ay kahit kaano kadami ang ating mga pagkakamali ating pong tandaan si Jesus kahit na kailan hindi nagkamali sa mga pinitiwan niyang pangako ang ating Panginoong Jesus handang umibig sa atin ang ating Panginoong Jesus kahit papaano hindi niya tayo bibiguin sa anumang larangan. Kapatid, friendship, ka-prayer partner, katuwang, hindi pa po uli ang lahat. Bagkos, may panahon pa para tayo'y manalig at manampalataya sa Kanya. Pagpatawad tayo tulad ng pagpapatawad 
na sinambit ng ating Panginoong Yesus. At paulit-ulit na binanggit ng Panginoong Yesus. Ama, patawarin mo sila sapagkat hindi nila nalalaman ang kanilang ginagawa. Iyan din ang tinuro ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang panalangin. At patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala tulad ng pagpapatawad namin sa mga nakasala sa akin. Salamat sa pagmamahal mo, Panginoong Yesus. At salamat sa iyong pagpapatawad tulad ng sinambit mo sa unang salita sa pitong huling salita Panginoong Yesus Siya na wa. Amen
groups of people were doing. But what was Jesus doing? Jesus Jesus was doing the complete opposite. Totally remarkable in human history as he was being tortured and mocked and shamed and abandoned as he was experiencing the weight of all the history of sin. He was actually praying for the ones who were torturing him and killing and shaming him. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He was actually forgiving them. I tried to think of a way that we can relate to this. Imagine somebody comes up to you in surprise and then starts assaulting you, starts choking you, and is literally choking you to death. And as that is happening, you have this incredible grace to forgive them. For most of us, maybe all of us, this is just impossible. All of us in, in these movements would be trying to fight for our lives. We would be completely focused on ourselves on our own anxiety, our own pain, our own struggle for survival. We would not be thinking of anyone else beside ourselves and our survival. Yet, the Lord is thinking about those who are killing Him and more. But there was another of people out there, and that is us, you and me. We were there spiritually in our brokenness, in our sinfulness. We were right there at the foot of the cross. Unlike those first century people around the cross, we cannot claim that we did not know what we were doing because 2,000 years after the death and the resurrection in victory and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the life of the church, we were very much, or rather we very much do know who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We know this. Jesus died for us for our sins. We know this. For He has given us His Holy Spirit and He shared with us His very own life. He is always with us. We know all these things and yet we still have offended Him. And again, we all make mistakes and the Lord understands that. But we all know, we all know too, that we don't just make mistakes. We don't just stumble sometimes and feel weakness. But we actually choose sins that we know will hurt us, will hurt other people, and have deeply offended our Lord and caused the need for His crucifixion. Where sin abounds grace, abounds all the more, and as much as those people right around the Lord who are directly killing Him needed His forgiveness. Maybe in some ways, all the more, we need the Lord's forgiveness because we continue to sin and we know what we are doing. But praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ that He says to us also, Father, forgive them even 
if they do not know what they do. One more thing that I would like to mention about this first word is Jesus does not say, I forgive them. But he asked his Father in heaven to forgive us. Why would Jesus do that? The answer is because his Father was suffering incredibly in offering his dearly beloved Son this way. It was the Father's heart that was crushed, broken, unimaginable that he would allow his son to die in this way so jesus recognizing the pain of his of his father the extraordinary sacrifice of his father he actually asked the father to forgive us for causing so much pain so much brokenness and sorrow to his father let us ask ourselves the following questions do i forgive injuries real or perceived have i forgiven those who have hurt or offended me or do i hold on to old hatreds and grudges our lord jesus taught us to pray to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us literally i am asking god to forgive me like i forgive others let us ponder that for a while Oh my Jesus, be merciful to me, a sinner. Please help me to forgive those who have sinned against me. Forgiveness is not the same as forgetting. In reality, there are some things that we cannot forget, but we can choose to surrender that hurt that painful memory over to our Lord Jesus Christ to ask him to help us to let go of that hurt do not let it have power over us anymore when we forgive we put the past behind us so that we can be truly be present in the here and now instead of being controlled by hurts of the past but what if we continue to have negative feelings toward the person who hurt us honestly it doesn't matter feelings are just that feelings and nothing more negative feelings are not sinful unless we deliberately foster them and choose to feed them when our negative feelings emerge we pray for the persons who hurt us then our feelings will eventually begin to change and to heal Forgiveness is not an act of our will, but the amazing grace given to us by God, who is merciful. With man, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Forgiveness is often misunderstood. Some people may believe forgiveness diminishes the offense against them. Well, it does not. Others may think that it requires that you stay or resume a poisonous, dysfunctional relationship. It does not. But still, others may think that it is a work that they have to do all on their own. 
Again, I say, it is not. Sometimes, relationships are poisonous for, the, for both parties involved. Sometimes, because the other person has not or cannot repent, perhaps because of addictions or deep-seated drives. It is too dangerous or risky to be close to him or to her. According to the scripture, if, if possible, as far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. Forgiveness is a work of God within us, whereby He acts to free us from the poisonous effects of bitterness and grief that often accompany the harm that was inflicted upon us. And clinging to our anger, our hurts, understandable though it may be, only harms us. Anger, hurt, and nursing grudges all sap us of strength. In calling us to forgive, God is offering us the gift of freedom from a costly emotional state that robs us of our joy and strength. When asked for forgiveness by one who has harmed us, forgiveness is a work of mercy. It can restore to them a relationship with us that is important to them. It is a very great gift to offer mercy and pardon to the one who has offended or harmed us and seeks our forgiveness. May we truly forgive our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, or anyone who has ever hurt us, so that we may be completely open to receiving the forgiveness and mercy and healing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who wishes to pour out upon us. And so, may this first word bring us seriousness about our sin, that we know what we do, but yet hope, even with this, the Lord from the cross speaks this timeless word that covers all of history and all of our least to our greatest sins. Father, forgive them. Let us try to forgive as the Father forgives us. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, Though I believe at one level that you have forgiven me, this amazing truth needs to enter or penetrate my heart in new ways. Please help me to know with fresh conviction that I am fully and finally forgiven, not because of anything I have done, but because of what you have done for me. May I live today as a forgiven person, opening my heart to you, choosing not to sin because the power of sin has been broken by your salvation. All praise and glory be to you, Lord Jesus, for your boundless forgiveness. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Pinagsisisihan ko ito ng lubusan upang di na muli pang balikan ang aking buhay mo. Wala itong pag-asa pang mabago. Kasalanan ng mundo ay kinakubo sa krus ng kalbaryo kami iyong tubusin. Panginoong Jesus kami iyong hawi. Panginoon kami iyong patawarin Kasalanan ng mundo 
ay inakumbo sa pos ng kalimayo kami iyong tubusin sa iyong mga lakay at mga suga manal mong dugo na umaabo sa krus Dama namin ngayon ang pag-ibig mo Panginoon Salamat sa kamatayan mo sa krus Sabay-sabay natin kami dito Panginoon Jesus kami Itong huling salita ni Jesus would like to thank the following sponsors Horno Fire Handmade Food Pizza Experience the foreign pizza that located in our town And in part by Rex to Care Herbal Products by Rexlu Enterprises Tunay na maaasahan napakabisa walang halong kemikal Pure na herbal talaga Kay buti mo Pangino mo Unat ng isang bright room magbubula sa kanyang pavilion ay tulad ng isang kampiyonato na nagagalak na tumangbo doon sa kanyang matutunguhan kung papansin ko natin sa ating kamalakunan Oh, 